This is Trails of Cold Steel 4, an early level to, uh, early spot to grind at. Um, this isn't too far after you leave the, uh, the Great Forest after the tutorial and everything. Um, you do need to go ahead and make your way to Titus Gate. It's not that far into the game. Uh, I don't think there's any bosses outside of the forest that you have to fight up to this point. Anyway, um, once you get to Titus Gate, you can basically do this, uh, whenever you want to. Um, as long as you don't progress too far in the story, I would assume. Anyway, um, so I'm starting here though, because if you rest at the beds, it's a free way to rest up, get all your HP, EP, and uh, your CP up, back up to maximum. Now you only get 100 CP restored, but if you rest twice, that's 200, so that should be fine. Um, I think you can do the same thing at the gate, but uh, this is free, so. Now the grinding that I want to do, I'll just take it back to the Titus Gate entrance. And there's a section close to the uh, end of this road here, a uh, farm by road. There are three enemies you can get into a linked battle, and every time I've done it so far, I've gotten anywhere between 3,000 to about 5,800,000 uh, experience. Now basically this combat, uh, this battle here, depending on how many combos you get, it's going to affect, affect your uh, EXP gain by quite a bit. It also depends on which enemies you end up bringing in. Now, this, this battle here is probably the most difficult one out of these three. Just try and focus on breaking the guy's defense. You should be fine. Once you break the defense, you should be able to kill him with just a few uh, S-Crafts. You might want to save two S-Crafts for the uh, the next battle after this, the two battles after this. And of course you miss. That's fine. Actually... To should break his guard, I would think. Yes, it did. Okay. Let's see if I can finish these two off with these S crafts. I don't think I'm going to, though. Oh, it did. Good. Go, go Randy. So then, I can just finish these guys off with uh, the other S-Crafts from other characters. These two battles are very trivial, but the multiplier you get for having multiple back-to-back -back battles is, is pretty substantial. I'm not even sure that's a multiplier or if it just increases your uh, count because you get so many kills. It doesn't really matter. Either way, you can see here I got 3.8 thousand, or 3.8k. With a 2 point, uh, yeah, 2.4 like EXP bonus. Uh, earlier, before I gained up a whole bunch of levels, I probably leveled up about five times here so far. Uh, I was getting about 5,000. So that's probably good for at least a very early on EXP spot. Everybody's able to grow another level again, it looks like. Even Randy. So, alrighty. That's all I wanted to show for now. If you are having issues early on in the game, this is a decent spot to go and level up, I would think. You also get quite a bit of uh, Sepith at 515 right now. I don't know how many I've been getting per battle. I wasn't really paying attention, but I mean, if you're... This is mostly for EXP, but you are going to get some Sepith out of it too. So I think it's probably a good, a good way to... Uh, kill two birds with one stone, so I would focus on the EXP game here over everything else. Anyway, with that, the tutorial is over. Alright, hope you enjoyed it, and hope you enjoy the game. Alright, ciao for now.